Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show VMware Workstation installation process and its configuration. VMware is an application software that allows you to create and operate virtual computers which run on top of your actual physical computers and operating system. Each virtual machine is equivalent to a PC with a unique network address and full complement of hardware choices. You can download this software from the link showing in my description. I have already downloaded my software. Now I will show how to install VMware Workstation. Okay, just right click and select Run as Administrator. Now it is loading VMware Workstation. Okay, just click on next to continue our installation wizard and here we need to accept the license terms if you want to read uh, the license terms just you can read it and after that accept the license terms and click on next now it is showing the setup type a uh, typical or custom if you are the advanced user you can select custom uh, but if you are the beginner just please select typical and now it is showing the destination folder okay uh, if you want to change your destination folder you just click on change and select your destination okay and after that uh, come to next and here it is showing software updates if you want to take updates for your VMware workstation just select this box otherwise uh, come to next and now uh, you can send feedback to VMware Workstation. If you don't want to do that, just remove this and click on Next. After the installation, VMware Workstation will create shortcuts on your desktop and start menu programs folder. Okay, just click on Next and just click on Continue to begin the process. Friends, normally this process takes a uh, few minutes. So here VMware Workstation itself completed the setup. So that's why I'm skipping this process. Welcome back. Okay, here we need to enter our license key, but it is an optional one. If you have the license key, you can enter here and after that just click on enter but here I don't have the license key so I'm skipping this process okay my setup wizard is completed just click on finish to exit this wizard now come into the desktop and run your VM workstation as administrator Again, it is asking for the license key. If you have the license key, again, please enter here. Uh, but I want to try VMware Workstation for 30 days trial period. So for this, we need to enter valid email address. Okay, after this, just click on continue and just click on finish okay now we have successfully completed our installation part now I will show how to configure my VMware workstation okay just click on create a new virtual machine here it is showing typical and custom uh, if you are the advanced user and uh, you can 
customize your settings but it is better to choose typical and click on next now it is showing our installer media if you want to install your operating system by using installer disk just select here and browse for your installer disk okay and also if you are using disk image file please select this option and browse for your Windows 7 ISO file okay here it will show Windows 7 is detected okay and one more option also there I will install the operating system later okay here you can uh, create your virtual machine but no need to select your installer media by choosing this option okay and I'm choosing ISO image file and after that just click on next here it is asking for Windows product key because I have chosen Windows 7 installer disk okay and if you have the product key you enter your product key and come to the personalized windows just give your full name and after that just type your password but it is optional one uh, I'm typing my password and confirm the same password and here uh, if you tick this it will log on automatically so I'm not selecting this just click on next you did not enter a Windows product key Windows will install without one but must be manually activated later would you like to continue yes please click on yes and now it is showing the virtual machine name uh, Windows 7 ok and this can be stored on this location if you want to change this location please click on browse and you can choose your location and after that just click on next now uh, we can specify our disk capacity maximum disk size is 60 GB and recommend size for Windows 7 is 60 GB ok no problem and here you select store virtual disk as a single file ok and after that just click on next now you can customize your hardware by selecting this customize hardware now it is showing the memory processor and installer media uh, normally we require 1 GB for installing Windows 7 but I will increase this because I want to speed up my installation process okay again it is showing the Windows 7 ISO image file okay and just click on advanced okay it will show SATA or ID port okay just click on cancel okay now come to network adapter you just select your network connection okay after that USB controller okay sound card printer and display okay you can modify these settings and after that just click on close and here one more option is there power on uh, this virtual machine after creation okay if you want to install after creating uh, virtual machine you can select this directly it will go to the installation part but I'm not selecting this because I want to manually uh, start my virtual machine okay so click on finish now it is creating my virtual machine so this process takes few minutes I will skip this and welcome back it is successfully created my Windows 7 virtual machine now here also you can find your devices okay okay uh, with this I have successfully configured my Windows 7 virtual machine now uh, if you want to uh, install this just click on power on this virtual machine now it will continue the installation uh, but here I want to skip this uh, if you want to uh, see the 
Windows 7 installation, please visit my channel ITBot143. There I have prepared a video for how to install Windows 7 uh, because this process takes nearly 30 to 40 minutes. So that's why I am skipping this installation process. And okay, uh, thank you, viewers. Uh, with this, I have completed my uh, VMware installation part and its configuration. And we successfully uh, entered into the installation part. If you like this video, please click on like button and share it with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBot143 to watch more latest uploaded videos. Okay, thank you viewers. Have a nice day.